I was at uh, the Calvary Chapel Senior Pastors Conference last week in Murrieta, California, and close to a thousand guys showed up. It was maxed out. Um, and, um, you know, there's a lot of great things happening within the Calvary movement, very exciting stuff. There's a church planning kind of heart that's going on that's very exciting. Um, over 100 churches were added last year. And, um, but I think one of the most impacting things for me was a conversation I had with Wes Bentley. Uh, Wes Bentley is, um, he's the head of far-reaching ministries in Africa. Um, and what he does is he trains um, local Sudanese men to be chaplains to the armies that go to war. And, um, and so what they do, these men, um, not only do they share the gospel with the soldiers, um, but they tend to the wounded. Um, they're, they're in the front, front lines of the battle. They tend to the wounded. They also, at times, will be involved in protecting um, the little fenced-in camps where children live and, and to keep them from the guerrillas coming in and, and abusing the children and killing and so on. And so um, they go through a very intensive training, these guys do, and they are trained to think in terms that they're not coming back, that they're going to give their life, literally. Um, Wes, to date, has um, had 12 guys literally give their life for the sake of the gospel and ministry, too, just this year. And, um, and it was a very, um, to me, a very sobering thing. Am I, am I there? Am I giving my life? Am I willing to lay it down? And, uh, and I found myself convicted um, and uh, in, a, in a very good way. Not condemned, convicted. Uh, this gospel is it's worthy of fighting for. It's worthy of dying for.